next presenter, our next speaker is Linda Cherry. Linda is the president of the board of the Calgary Association of Lifelong Learners, and here we are, we're going to learn something from her, Miss Linda Cherry. a term that has followed boomers all our lives based on that definition of rapid growth. But I want to look at a variation of that definition, to progress, grow, and flourish vigorously, and look at an organization that facilitates that. With the growing number of population in the 50 plus range, there is an increasing amount of information about healthy aging and retirement. Two themes are repeated as critical to a more positive aging process the need to be mentally active and to be socially engaged. As you know, I'm Linda Cherry, president of the Calgary Association of Lifelong Learners, known as CAL, and I will talk about how our organization can successfully address these two key factors in the second half of life, a stage that is often noted to be the time to discover and rediscover yourself. CALL was conceived in 2010 as an organization de dedicated to bring together adults 45 and over who bring a passion for learning and a desire to stay actively involved in community. It was inspired by the Osher Life Learning Center in Santa Cruz and McGill Community Center and is very much like uh, the University of the Third Age. I am now, oops, waiting for, am I echoing here? This photo is of our founders, all of whom are connected with the University of Calgary. Standing from left to right are Carol Gerine, Arlene Stamp, and Barb Grant. Seated are Professors Don Smith and Bob Stamp. We owe them a great deal, along with the second wave of volunteers that brought CALL to life. CALL is run entirely by volunteers. Program delivery, committees, special projects, and the board are all operated by our volunteer members. A great example of community engagement and cooperation. Volunteers may be sharing their lifetime of experience in an area or learning a new skill because of their passion and commitment to call. With over 500 members at any given period, 40 interest groups run along with 20 lectures and monthly call cafes. You can appreciate the need we have to categorize and manage all these activities. With the following slides, I will briefly describe the range of topics and means of delivery along with some comments from our members. From cultural flash happenings to learning to play the ukulele, the group here, or discovering your ancestors, uh, arts and media is a diverse area of interest that based on what the members suggest and what they are prepared to facilitate. In fact, sometimes groups may take on a completely different focus from the original intent based on the desire of the group. No rigid curriculum here. Current events, and here are two of our coordinators, are generally peer-led discussions based on recent events, magazine articles, or news headlines. An example of changing focus came with one group that was meant to be based on specific podcasts. One session on quantum physics grabbed the interest of the group and a quantum physics interest group it became. A new learning opportunity for all. Health and wellness combines peer discussion with presentations and groups led by experts such as the mindfulness meditation group. For some reason, we also have Wednesday winos under health and wellness. <laughs> Needless to say, that's a convivial group of wine tasters, and appropriately enough, we also had a session on preventing falls here. I'm not sure I don't see this. History, well, and of course with Don Smith as one of the founders, of course we'd have history, whether it be a World War I or II, the West or conflict, lectures on the Dead Sea Scrolls, learning to evaluate your antiques, the inert ones, I hasten to add, are all groups in this section. The topic and interest areas change regularly, guided by the curiosity and passion of the members. In science and environment, we have Canada's North Climate Change and Changes in Technology, an extensive list. But I want to quote one of our members. I retired and became depressed. Call saved my life. Meeting people from different experiences and disciplines enhanced my thinking and my social circle. I feel alone. 
We, in addition to discussions and lectures, we also get out and play. Well, sometimes we stay inside of like bridge, a jean, outside lawn blowing. Lawn blowing. Lawn blowing. <laughs> Don't ask me about lawn blowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good group for me story. <laughs> We've also been to the Urban Shale, and David Peter was one of our first facilitators and a member of Paul. We also have Wednesday evenings um, where we do things like exotic travels or also in science and environment lectures in that area as well with experts coming in. Call cafes are a time to socialize and hear diverse range of speakers. As another member said, this is a group that's living with intention, moving forward, learning more about topics relevant in today's changing world and being involved. We can be an incubator for other forms of social engagement. We also have gala events and special events. We have worked jointly with Mount Royal University in the Alberta Global Forum on SOMAR series. Last year we had Aretha Van Herk at a September event and on September 14th we're having Roland Stanley. Also we had um, uh, uh, Stephen Hare. So, what can you do to get engaged in call? Join, participate and volunteer in any myriad of activities, projects, committees and events. Experts, keen learners wanting to acquire a new skill and the permanently curious and passionate are all welcome. We are also growing into the future with C Space. Call continues to move forward, and we are a new tenant, or will be a new tenant later this year at C Space in the old King Edward School. C Space, as many of you know, is a social enterprise that supports communities of artists, nonprofits, and entrepreneurs working on the creative edge of change. Boom. In joining tenants like the Alexandra Writers Center, Alliance Francaise, and many others, we will be part of a creative community that crosses generations and disciplines. We will continue to meet in other parts of the city, but this will allow us an opportunity to share skills and experience for new ventures and vigorous growth. Again, boom. So, as a final quote, I will give you a quote from our member that is a call to action. Call is a great community for shared laughter, learning, friendship, teaching, working, inspiring, inspiration, energy, and kindness. I urge you, discover call, discover yourself. Thank you.